Welcome to AI Bedtime Stories. Today I will be narrating a story called Harmony in Versailles. If you like these bedtime stories, please feel free to leave a comment. The story begins now in the opulent corridors of Versailles, amidst gilded mirrors and cascading chandeliers. Lady Isabel Darcy roamed with a sense of disquiet. She had been invited to the palace as an honored guest for her exceptional skills with the harpsichord. Music was her escape. The notes are balm to the turmoil of courtly politics and unwanted suitors. One evening, after a particularly challenging rehearsal, Isabel found herself wandering the palace gardens, lost in her thoughts. The moonlight painted the statues silver, and the gentle hum of the fountains played its own nocturnal melody. Suddenly, a soft tune on a violin reached her ears. Following the sound, Isabel found herself in front of a secluded gazebo. There, bathed in the pale luminescence, stood a tall figure with raven black hair, passionately playing the violin. It was Lord Lucien de la Croix, a noble known not only for his wealth and influence but also for his rumored disdain for music and the arts. Drawn by the hauntingly beautiful music, Isabel approached him, her footsteps inaudible on the dewy grass. As the final notes hung in the air, Lucien looked up, locking eyes with her. The intensity of the moment left them both breathless. You play with such emotion, Lord de la Croix, Isabel whispered, her voice filled with genuine admiration. Lucien, looking slightly embarrassed, responded, It's a hidden indulgence of mine. But please, call me Lucien. From that night on, their shared love for music kindled a deep connection between them. They met often in secret, crafting harmonies that echoed their growing affection for each other. Rumors started circulating in the court about the clandestine meetings of Isabel and Lucien. The king, intrigued by these tales, decided to throw a grand ball in their honor. He wished to hear the music that had so captured the hearts of two seemingly opposite souls. On the night of the ball, the Grand Hall of Versailles was bathed in golden light. Nobles from all corners of France had gathered, eager anticipation in the air. Isabel, dressed in a gown of deep sapphire, sat poised at her harpsichord. Lucien, in a matching attire, stood with his violin. With a nod to each other, they began to play. The music was a beautiful confluence of their feelings, an ethereal blend of two souls dancing in harmony. As the last notes faded, the hall erupted in applause. The king, deeply moved, declared their music a national treasure. However, the world of courtly intrigues was never kind to genuine emotions. Challenges awaited the couple in the form of jealous rivals and political power plays. But the bond between Isabel and Lucien, forged in the crucible of music, proved unbreakable. They married in a private ceremony in the very same gazebo where they first met. Their love story, much like their music, became legendary, a testament to the power of harmony, not just in notes but in hearts. And so, amidst the grandeur of Versailles, Two souls found love in the most unexpected of places, proving that when two hearts are in tune, the universe conspires to create a symphony.